Kinikumanise Aucho Jindai Shin Geki is a spin off manga of Kinikumanise Ge Ultimate Muscle, which is a sequel to Kinikuman. It is an alternative version to how the events of Kinikuman Nisei play out, with the main lead, Manta Kiniku, the son of the protagonist of Kinikuman, coming to Earth to fight evil Chojins as a Justice Chojin. Chojin are basically Superman. There are differences to the original Kinikuman Nisei, like the backstory of Mantaro being altered and a few characters having access to moves they worked for in the original story immediately. Also, story arcs are much shorter than the original, with less pages per chapter, which makes it much quicker to read compared to the original. Many beloved characters are less interesting personality and origin wise, not to mention lack some good fights. Some characters are allies out of nowhere, and you have to accept they were part of the main and support cast from the start. An example being Rinko or Roxanne in the English version. Also, for most of the story, the fights are less brutal. Only in the final arcs, the amount of brutality starts to increase. While these things make all of all Chojin Dai Shingeki inferior, it still has some really well done elements. Some characters get replaced by other characters, like instead of fighting Ricardo in the Ikemon Chojin Olympics, Mantaro is fighting Monta instead. But she's uh, que she has a questionable design and acts like a comic relief for obscure character. There's more to her than meets the eyes. Speaking of female characters, the story ha also has some female children representation that put an impressive performance. Another positive is that Azelman or Dick Dick Von Dick actually has on page wins, while in the original story he didn't win a single fight since his debut. Even despite being inferior to the main series, it still had fights uh, Kinikuman is known for. Characters have a variety of designs, since they were set by fans with minor edits, and the authors make sure that each of them get uh, credited at some point in the manga. What makes it even greater is that set characters designs play a role in combat, with each character coming with their unique set of strength and weaknesses. For instance, Checkmate is a chess-based Chojin who can transform into chess-based characters and gain abilities on what chess piece he chooses. His default form is the king. When he turns into a tower, he becomes as durable as a tower. As a knight, which looks like a horse chess piece, he moves faster but also becomes heavier, as heavy as a horse, which plays a role in his signature move, which allows him to crush opponents. Or Beth the Shower, a Chojin exclusive to the manga so far, is a best tough Chojin and can freeze you with his cold shower or lure you into a trap with his hot bath. Some elements people would associate with when they take a cold shower are also co incorporated into his moveset, like being able to turn water into ice. And when you take a shower, sometimes it feels like you are being frozen to death. So it, that's the kind of similarity that will play a role in the fight. Even the ring they are fighting on plays a role, as the characters would use the ring ropes as part of their attacks or even the iron pool. Sometimes they fight on a different ring. For instance, instead of a canvas, they fight on a trampoline, which gives some techniques an advantage and others a disadvantage, meaning like in all Kinikuman stories, there's a lot of strategy involved in fights, using one's abilities, strength and weaknesses as well as the environment to their advantage. If you are a Kinikuman fan, it's worth checking out. If you haven't read any Kinikuman or Kinikuman Nise and, and are conflicted whether you should or shouldn't, you can read all Chojin Dai Shingeki to see if the setting and fights are your fancy up. And because if you do enjoy these kinds of things and enjoy what you have seen so far but want more, you will definitely enjoy the parent story. In other words, it is worth checking out.